Happy Thanksgiving 2020, everybody. I'm not really celebrating it this year. Uh, five years ago, one of my best friends, David Nell, passed away on November 26th. Today's the five year anniversary of his death. Seems like a long time ago, but it just seems like yesterday at the same time, so. With Corona and everything, I'm not in a celebratory mood. I sure don't feel like getting out on the road and visiting people. I talked to David's mom earlier and she said she had a, a vision of him. She's had three, but the last one he was standing at the foot of her bed and she said she wasn't asleep, you know. It was just as vivid as if he was actually just standing there. She don't know what that means if he's just coming to visit her or maybe he plans on coming to get her soon. I haven't had any waking visions like that, but I, I dream about people that have passed on. My dad, I have a lot of dreams about my dad. parents they're buried up here too well they're interned up here i should say up in the vaults i went and visited their graves for a little bit and of course david rusty dalahite several other people it feels like when i dream about them it feels like they're visiting me it's, the strangest thing, I really hope there is something else after this. I hope there's an afterworld. That somehow maybe we can get a message to them or they know that we're doing okay or we can somehow draw off their strength. I don't know. My main hope is that we'll be re reunited with them later. Um, who knows though, nobody really knows for sure. Right now, all we can have is hope. I know that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It just changes form, it moves on in some way, and there's an energy in, in us that keeps us alive. Or that shows we're alive, I don't know which one it is. But once these physical bodies die, that, that energy goes on in some way. Whether or not our consciousness goes with it, that's uh, it's definitely up for debate, but I like to think it does, and I honestly can't wrap my brain around not existing at all. That's just, I don't have the ability to comprehend that. So I hope everybody else is having a good holiday. I hope you eat well. Don't eat too much, don't overdo it. Everybody gains weight this year, this time of the year. And Christmas, a lot of people never lose it and just, Obesity is not good for you. I know I've battled my weight for a long time, even though I've never been morbidly obese. Uh, you know, I, I think my friend David would have fallen into that category. He probably could have taken better care of himself than, than what he did, but just don't overdo it. If you do, drink a lot of water, go for a long walk, try to burn some of it off. And Christmas is just around the corner. Hopefully that'll be more festive. Hopefully there'll be a vaccine out by then. Oh, I'm really, really hoping so, because I don't want to travel and see family and be the one that gave everybody coronavirus, because, you know, I work in UAB hospital and I consider myself a prime vector because I'm healthy enough to carry it. Would probably be asymptomatic. But anyway, it's real easy for me to tell people not to not to get down, not to despair, but today's one of those days I'm just wallowing in it, I guess, you know. Maybe sometimes we need to do that. I don't know. But when you get down, don't stay down. 
You can't stay in that self-pity. You gotta do something to find a way to rise up out of it. So, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching and I love all of you. Happy Thanksgiving.